All right, so now I'd like to demonstrate how to tip off to my truck mode. However, I'm gonna demonstrate coming from my default settings of tip off to stockpile as we're set up. And I'm gonna shoot for 10 tons up on the other end um, at my delivered truck, which means I'm gonna probably have some material left in my bucket. So I'll show you how to manage that. So 10 tons is my target. I'm gonna go ahead and get my first bucket load. So I know it's gonna be at least two. So I'm not too worried about this first pass. I'm just gonna get as much material as I can. Make sure I'm carrying in a safe manner, shake a little bit of material off so I'm not dribbling all over the job site. And let's go. All right, so this is gonna be my first pass for, the for a target of 10. And at this point, you can see, I still don't know what's in my bucket. I could have checked, but I don't really care. I just know that I wanna deliver a full bucket load for my first pass. And now here we go, I got 6.3 tons. You can see that confirmed on the display here. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in. I know now, in my mind, I gotta do math. I wanna bring this all the way down and tip it all the way out until I see those asterisks here, guys. There it is, it's locked in, let's go. All right, come in and get my second bucket load. And I know I don't need a full amount, so I'm gonna make my delivery here a little bit conservative. So let's say I'm approaching my truck. I'm gonna slowly raise up and you can see as I pass through that weight range, I will get confirmation of my green box scaled weight right back. Oh, if I dump all this in though, I'll have 11.8 tons. I'm shooting for 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tipping. But as I do this, watch this button right here, which is our bucket zero tear button. It knows I'm not trying to zero tear. So we're gonna use that button for some other real estate. And as I start to tip, you can see now it's a toggle. I can toggle that button. The white perimeter switches to, to signify that I'm in tip off to truck mode. And now we're back down here. And as I tip this 5.3 tons off, you will see as material falls out there, it's going to accumulate on the previous truck pass that was on there because this material is falling out of my bucket, adding to the previous cumulative uh, truck weight that was on there. So I wanna bring this right on up to about 10 tons. I don't want to dump too aggressively here, right? You want to kind of meter this material. And uh, in this mode, notice there is no green box. These are estimated weights, so it's gonna be close. But uh, we, if you're wor more worried about precision, the best thing to do is tip off to your stockpile and then pass through that precision weight range before you dump in your truck. But in this case, we do have the ability to uh, get you some good estimated weights tipped right into a truck. And in this case, I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna rack back and say, oh, I'm at 9.3 after I've racked back. So I wanna actually give him a little bit more material, but I wanna be careful because if I tip too much, I can't get that material right back out of that truck very easy. And I don't wanna spend all afternoon shoveling. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna call, say that 9.4 good enough today. And uh, in this case, I'm gonna say he's good. I could give a slight steady raise on that remaining material that's in that bucket and see what that actually is, it is 9.4. I'm gonna store that material and it's done. And this asterisk come back, comes back and says, hey, that's latched information. We stored that truck as two passes, 9.4 tons. If I've got another truck, I could give a slight steady raise from here and get that remaining material tonnage back and then dump it in the truck. But in this case, I don't wanna uh, use this in the next truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and deliver this back to my stockpile and just dump it out. And I'll show you how I clear that display then at that point. So I'm just gonna dump this material behind. And as I do that, I know that uh, information I don't want storing and sending them to my supervisor. So I'll just clear that right off and call it good. 